Hello, my name is Sarah. I work at Monterey County Free Libraries and I am the Literacy and Volunteer Services Manager. Thank you for joining me again on Self Care Sunday and we're going to do a little bit of stretchy yoga. I do not have any research on this, but I have read that stretching can reduce anxiety. So let's stretch and reduce our anxiety this fall season. All right, so I have with me my handy blanket for lifting my hips and a yoga block. You can also use a book, especially a thick book. So I'm gonna take my uh, blanket and put it under my hips and just uh, come into the moment. I'm sitting cross-legged, crisscross applesauce, as we used to say, uh, one foot on top of the other ankle and um, feeling a little bit of a stretch in my hips. Uh, from here, I'm going to place my hands, uh, palms down on the knees and just close my eyes and take a few breaths. Please join me. So from here, we will do on the inhale a lifting feeling and then all the way through as if a string were at the top of the crown of the head and just pulling our spine up. And then as we exhale, maybe broadening the ribs, the rib cage, broadening the hips to make more space for more breath. It's okay if the chest rises and falls with the breath. And it's also okay if sitting still is a little difficult right now, that can happen. So I am um, combating my inability to sit still by doing a little bit of neck stretching. And I hear a lot of snap, crackle, pop in the neck and that's okay. Maybe making a few circles, maybe making figure eights, whatever feels good and does not make you feel uh, lightheaded or dizzy. I'm doing my favorite, which are shoulder rolls, good for everyone. Again, lots of snack crackle pop in those shoulders. So I'm going to take one at a time and I keep rolling back and theoretically we like up on the inhale and down on the exhale. One side might be creakier than the other. That's often the case if you have a dominant hand, that side sometimes is tighter and creakier. Um, then again, if you're compensating on the other side, that side could also be creepy, Creak, creaky, not creepy. That's over, Halloween's over. All right, so coming back to a bit of stillness, let's reach the arms straight up and lift through the rib cage, maybe even tilt the chin up. Take a few breaths way down into the belly button from here. and bring the hands down on an exhale and then maybe plant the left hand uh, just a little bit outside the hip and curve open the right shoulder and then find a little bit of neck stretching here look up look down find a comfortable spot that feels like it needs to be stretching From here, place the other hand down just a little bit outside of the hip, and then we can roll the other shoulder open. Little bend in the elbow, so as not to hyperextend. 
find the stretchy spot in the neck. A lot of computer use, a lot of hopefully reading. This can even happen. You could need a stretch after doing the dishes even. All right. And exhaling and bringing that hand down. We're going to now find our way to a tabletop position. So I will meet you there. Okay, so here we are in tabletop and I have a slight bend in my elbows and my fingers of all the hands spread really wide. And then I have this uh, towel again, my blanket underneath my knees, which are hip width apart. My hands are no wider than my shoulders and I have a little sort of tuck in the belly. And from here, I'm going to lift the head and the sort of the hips to inhale and open up across the chest. And then I will fold in like our Halloween kitty and stretch up in the back. And then we can go in, inhale, exhale, as much as you like. And this is stretching out our spine, maybe a little bit in the hips, a little bit in the arms, the neck. You don't have to go this fast. I might actually slow down myself. And this is our cat cow to release anxiety. Let's do one more of each way, inhaling across the chest and exhaling, lifting up the spine and maybe tucking a little bit in the tailbone. All right, from here, I am turning my toes under and getting ready to lift the hips into downward dog. From here, we still want those widespread fingers, uh, hands about shoulder width and hip, feet about hip width. And now we're feeling definitely stretchy along the backs of the legs. And we can kind of ease into it, wiggle into it by um, bending the knees alternately. Also perhaps feeling stretch in the neck because the head is hanging down. Can do a little yes, no, wiggling around and just finding some comfort in this downward dog pose. It's definitely stretchy. Make sure there's a bend in those elbows, slight bend so that you're not hyperextending your arms. Now we're going to get even more stretchy. We're going to move the weight into the right foot and then lift the left foot and feel more of a stretch around, along that right leg and then maybe make circles with the foot that's in the air, stretching out the ankle of the other leg. Bringing the first foot down carefully and then we'll lift the other leg and feeling again an extensive stretch in the left leg and maybe making circles with the ankle on the right leg. From here, I bet our arms are really tired. Mine are. So I'm going to take one last inhale and exhale. <sighs> and bring the knees back to their comfy padded position and bring the hips back to the feet and stretch out the back again in child's pose. I will see you again in tabletop position in just a moment. Enjoy your child's pose with the arms stretched out, stretching the hips, a block can go under there if the hips don't meet 
the feet I'm feeling nice and comfortable and safe in child's pose all right we're back in tabletop position and I'm sorry you're gonna have to just believe me because I cannot get my camera to film this correctly and the phone is even worse so we're briefly in tabletop one inhale and an exhale and then we'll tuck those toes again and then lift the hips slight bend in the elbows back to downward facing dog but i won't make you spin forever here this time once we feel comfortable the head is in alignment feeling a strong stance in the hands and the feet fingers spread wide toes strong big stretch along the backs of the legs We'll take the right leg and lift it, and this time we will bend it and come through kind of between the hands. Once this foot gets solidly placed, all four corners of the foot on the ground, we will find our balance and slowly come up. And this is again stretchy. So we're feeling stretch in the quad, we're feeling stretch in the back of the leg, and then now for even more of a stretch, maybe raise the arms for crescent lunge. Definitely feeling a stretch in the hips and we're working on the balance here, trying to stay on both the toes of the back foot and the full foot of the front foot. And you can kind of wiggle out a little bit um, with the front foot to make a wider stance if you need to you can bring it out this way where I was towards the wall feeling a nice stretch here lifting through the torso stretching deep into that knee and the front foot though not going over the toes and then a strong back leg One more breath here, and then we will bring the arms down. Fingers spread wide, hands, and then plant those and bring back the foot. Long stretch on the back again with the spine stretching with the head down and the hips up. Deep breath here, and we'll lift the opposite leg just briefly and then we'll swing it through again towards the front of the mat between the hands. Again, we'll set up here, maybe bring that foot out a little bit so that they're about hip width apart, even though they're very far from each other. And a nice stretch along those back leg and a strong toes, strong front foot. And we'll lift again into a lunge on the other side. Again, feeling stretching in both quads in this particular case, along the back leg and certainly in the front leg. Working on the balance here, stretching in the hips, in the whole bottom part, and then inhaling the arms towards the sky. We'll take a few breaths here, stretching out the torso, Stretching, stretching out in the fingers, definitely holding on to that balance. This is not just uh, stretchy, this is also using our muscles to stay in this lunge. All right, very good. Maybe take a slight look up at the ceiling and then again coming down on either side of that foot and bringing it back to downward facing dog. And from here, we can bring the knees down and then the bottom down and we will just say um, goodbye to each other at this point. So I found my way back to crisscross applesauce. My hood's all out of place. This is one of my favorite shirts for yoga, except for the hood, because it goes all over when your head is upside down. So we're back. This time I'm going to change up my legs from the way they were last time because I always tend to go left over right. So now I change them to right over left. Placing the hands on the knees just lightly. Maybe just one roll to kind of reset and 
We'll take three deep breaths here to finish up our stretchy practice. Inhaling, thinking of that string, pulling up your body from the crown of the head, reaching up towards the sky and exhaling, releasing the air from the belly, the lungs, anything that might have fit up here in the uh, chest area. Another inhale. It's hard to watch a video and have someone not talk, but really I should be much more quiet and let you breathe. Exhaling again, and one last inhale. Let's make it very deep. Maybe even taking a few extra sips of air at the top of the inhale and exhale it all out. <sighs> Maybe even vocalizing. <sighs> Thank you very much for bearing with me in yoga today, and I hope that you feel a nice stretch and maybe a reduction in anxiety. And I look to forward to seeing you at the next Self-Care Sunday in December. Take care.